This is your 420 Radio News for Tuesday, September 24th, 2013. I'm Russ Belville. Marijuana legalization, New York City's next mayor will try to legalize. From PolicyMike.com. The next mayor of New York City will help usher in the decriminalization of marijuana regardless of which candidate wins the seat. Mayoral aspirants Bill de Blasio and Joseph Lota, who were elected as nominees to represent their respective Democratic and Republican parties following primary elections earlier this month, are both fervent proponents of decriminalizing marijuana. De Blasio said, quote, I support legislation to decriminalize the display of small amounts of marijuana, end quote, during a July public online interview. Last month, Lota admitted to smoking marijuana over 40 years ago and was the first major candidate to come out in support of legalization back when he was the transit chief of the Metropolitan Transportation Authority. And Independence Party mayoral candidate Aldolfo Carrion Jr., who is running against de Blasio and Lota, has also admitted to smoking marijuana in his lifetime and supports its decriminalization. Medical marijuana study, West Virginia, from WCHS-TV. West Virginia lawmakers are discussing medical marijuana this week. A West Virginia lawmaker who's been pushing for legalization here is at it again with a hearing scheduled this week. A lot of people on both sides of the debate encourage further studies be done to show the long-term benefits of marijuana use. A joint committee will hold a two-hour session on the issue this Wednesday at the Capitol. Maine medical marijuana users fear loss of subsidized housing from Bangor Daily News. Some medical marijuana patients may have to choose between their cannabis and their federally subsidized housing if a state moratorium is not renewed before its October 1st deadline. While state housing officials say it's unlikely the deadline will pass without action, the prospect is still unnerving to those who may be affected. The moratorium allows grandfathered medical marijuana patients to use, possess, and grow cannabis while in federally subsidized housing properties. If it is not extended before it sunsets next Tuesday, those patients will have to stop taking the drug in Section 8 housing or have their federal rent subsidies cut off. The Maine State Housing Authority said only 12 of the approximately 3,850 state Section 8 housing voucher receivers in Maine would be affected by a moratorium lapse if it happens. Vancouver, Washington Council okays moratorium on pot from the Columbian. The Vancouver City Council unanimously on Monday approved a moratorium against the licensing of any marijuana retail outlets uh, pursuant to Initiative 502, which legalized possession of up to one ounce of marijuana for adults aged 21 and older. Earlier this month, the Washington State Liquor Control Board approved a series of supplemental rules to guide the adoption of a system to grow, possess, and sell marijuana. The board capped the maximum number of pot shops statewide at 334 and said Clark County could be home to up to 15 marijuana retailers by the time the state starts doling out licenses to legal pot sellers next spring. Six of those stores can be within Vancouver city limits. The moratorium gives the city more time to set zoning restrictions. The state already says the businesses must be at least 1,000 feet from schools, playgrounds, recreation centers, child care centers, public parks, transit centers, libraries, and arcades. The city has received approximately 30 emails and telephone inquiries on possible locations for marijuana facilities. South Jersey's first medical marijuana site prepares for opening, PhiladelphiaCBS.com. South Jersey's first medical marijuana dispensary is just a few weeks from opening. The Compassionate Care Foundation is growing about 1,500 pot plants in anticipation of an October 15th kickoff. There will be counselors on hand to advise people on which type of marijuana to buy and the best way to ingest it. CCF anticipates about $8 million in sales the first year, thanks to $350,000 in New Jersey funding. The growing operation plans to expand. And in an update from an earlier story, the Boise County Forest Hall of 40,000 marijuana plants has been downgraded by the federal government to just a little over 5,500, making it no longer Idaho's largest grow bust. This has been your 420 Radio News for Tuesday, September 24th, 2013.
I'm Russ Melville. When we come back, we go behind the headlines to take a look at the high cost of opening a medical marijuana dispensary these days in some of the newest medical marijuana states and some of the oldest. You're listening to the Russ Belville Show on 420radio.org. We'll be right back. <laughs> 